the first technique. Ganesh, you ready? Ready. Please put them. Yeah. Now, if or not if, I can just say commonly, the most of the attacks happen from the standing point, let's say against the wall. I say against the wall, right? Ganesh, you're here. Thank you. Now, if you've been strangled against the wall, you've been pushed completely against the wall, and you don't have any place to move left or right because the choke is so hard, they don't allow you to move for further forward or move to the side, right? Now, in this point here, since the choke is on the neck, which means it has attacked your breathing point, which means the blood flowing to your brain has been kind of reduced and slowly that may get disconnected. So when the blood flow to the brain has been reduced, which means no supply of oxygen, so mind starts to slow down and not work. So if the mind does not work and filled with fear, you're kind of mind frozen, which means the body is completely arrested and you're giving up to the attacker. But instead, I would like to teach you at this position, don't panic, don't fear. When this is happening, you are see, seeing it happening on you. The only way out, the only way out for you is to survive, is to protect yourself. So first thing you have to do is not forget to breathe because you're choking your breath. You're trying to stop your breath by stopping your mind. So first thing you breathe. After you breathe, you can see what's happening on you. Now you can learn this very simple technique. Now so against this choke, which is strong, ready? Against this choke, you have to first focus on how to loosen up this hold or how to release from the hold. So this technique applies here. The leg is against this position here where he has the leverage. If I move forward, he's still having the leverage. You've got to be strong, Ganesh, right? If you move side, you may slightly see that the leverage shifts to my advantage. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shift side. I'm going to raise my arm and I'm going to put my elbow down his arm. Now, if I make this a hit, elbow down the arm, it can break the hold. But it's for laymen to learn who don't know how to use the elbow. Just raise the arm and bring inside the hold and then you break the hold and then this arm is now locked position. And you have one hand on the back, bring the other hand over the overlapping the other hand now you get support now your left leg or you have your right leg whichever you find good support you can strike to the abdomen one and two and three you're striking the abdomen region right you're weakening his hold weakening his position once that is down the person would be kind of in this position then you can see this particular area between the ear and the spine the neck area you can go for an elbow chop you can go for an arm chop